Okay, and here we go. So today, the question is, and I didn't really post the question, I posted a statement. Your happiness requires you to give up this thing, this specific element that we do. And we do this all the time, and it's a major challenge for those of us that have used codependency to survive narcissistic abuse and discard. It's something we've naturally gravitated to. It's something we've uh, naturally um, tried to create fantasy out of. We, we think that if we have this one thing, we're able to do this, our happiness becomes available, our safety becomes available, love, relationships, health, wealth, all that becomes available to us with this one thing. We put an enormous amount of focus and effort in trying to have it. So what do you think it is? Anybody got any guesses? Post below what your guess is. Let's see what it what you come up with. Because you're doing it. You're doing it subconsciously. You're doing it uh, consciously. You're doing it out of fear. You're doing it out of hope. You're doing it out of uh, even lust. A lot of times with codependency, we have lived in a state of desire, of hunger. We don't live in a state of satisfaction or fulfillment. So we're kind of always we're, we're chasing things where we're trying to get things we're trying to um, secure them for ourselves and we do it with this one really you know obvious habit and that habit my friends is control whoa you know it's like oh well yeah Marshall it's control yeah I try to control everything we gotta really think about this because it's something so common so prominent for us in our lives that we don't realize how it's sabotaging us so yesterday I talked a bit about that the know-it-all, the inner know-it-all that shows up and tries to control and analyze everything. Well, now we're going to talk about one of that, one of its tools, which is the fundamental of control. Am I trying to control how I feel? Am I trying to control how other people feel? Am I trying to control what I want, what I need, how I get what I want, how I get what I need? Am I trying to control what other people are and what they choose to be? control 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 and this this is driving you crazy this is undermining your confidence it's undermining your own voice your own awareness your own vision for you it's also leading you down a path a fantasy because control is fundamentally a fantasy we don't have the ability to control much of anything we do have the ability to influence things we have the ability to ask we have the ability to receive, but we don't necessarily have the ability to control, especially in the way our minds like to see control as. Like, uh, in, when you're driving a car, you think you have control of the car. What's interesting about that is you don't. You have cooperation with the mechanics in the vehicle, um, and you have cooperation with physics and weather fundamentally and if any of those things change you no longer have control of the car really exact easy example of that is you're driving on snow you hit the brakes you don't stop as well right you no longer have control at that point because the physics are interfering with your interaction with your reality so what we really fundamentally have going on is influence we influence the vehicle by turning it we influence by hitting the brakes or hitting the gas we influence others by asking for things or by showing up in particular ways. We influence ourselves by the way we think and talk to ourselves, by what we allow ourselves to believe, by what we allow ourselves not to believe, by how we respond to our feelings, our pain. These are the things we're doing that give us the ability to have results we want. But if we're coming from control, we are fundamentally believing we can't have it, so we must make it happen. We don't trust that we would have what we desire reciprocated to us or freely given to us. Instead, we think we've got to go out there and work hard. And when we say work hard, we're not saying be persistent. We're not saying be smart about it. We're not saying show up and, and do it. We're actually talking about force. We're trying to make something happen by pushing it through. And this leads to exhaustion. This leads to frustration and burnout. And a lot of times we're doing this because we don't understand our relationship with power. We don't understand the relationship with receiving. 
because we've never had a safe experience with asking for what we wanted and having that freely uh, given to us or contributed to us. It's not shared with us. Instead, our experience is chase, control, force, and, and hope to fantasize about it. That's what's going on. You've got to give this up in order to capture your own sense of power and well-being in life. Because when you connect back to happiness, you're connecting back to the art of receiving, the ability to receive what's going on for you right now. And that's fundamentally essential to your success in your life. So receiving is the art of being available and allowing things to show up, whatever it is. Because when we learn to receive, we gain the ability <laughs> to respond rather than react because reactions out of control it's like that thing happened to me now i've got to do something about it response is this thing's happening what options do i have how do i want to respond to it what can i respond to do i want to respond to it so when i go towards receiving we discover the ability we have to actually create what we desire by asking or choosing rather what it is we'd like to receive and then receive what starts showing up and then we refine that experience until we start receiving the desire we have it's very important one of the big elements of control here guys is we tend to control what i call form rather than essence form is this particular person should be this way i should have that particular house i should have this particular job should have this particular event happen. People should treat me a particular or specific way. That's a major component of control. So it's about controlling exactly what happens with a person, place, or thing happening in your life. What receiving is, is it's a choice on energy. It's like, what would I like to feel and experience? And it's not a particular person doing a thing. It's not a particular thing or a place being a certain way, it's about having an experience that fulfills us in that way that we're seeking. So if we have a desire, for instance, for love, then what does that love feel like? What's the experience of it? What's the energy of it? It's the voice and the value and the vision of it that comes to you when you embody your desire to have love. Is this romantic love? Is it friendship love? Is it love in general? Is it to be loved? Is it to share love? The more specific and clear you get with what you want to receive, then you can choose it, you can receive it, and you can refine the experience. But when you come from control, you're going to go towards form. And that's going to lead you to control, resistance, attachment, and fundamentally, your outcome will be frustration and loss because you're not going to be able to keep it. Even if it shows up at all, you're going to push it away because you're afraid of losing it because you come from this thing called scarcity mindset. But in receiving, you can come from what's called abundant mindset where you're having a, you know, there, there's enough, there's plenty available. Then you can play. You can play with receiving some of that from this particular kind of person or that particular kind of place. See what really works for you. That's kind of the refining element. That's where we get into the refining component here. Now, I've literally just outlined for you the three steps I take you through in the Brilliance Mastermind. So to get what you want, whether it's love, whether it's health, wealth, well-being, excitement, joy, maybe it's a cup of coffee, it doesn't matter what it is, you need to master the ability to choose, and not choose from here in your analytical mind, but choose from joy, from the energy of what would be fulfilling for you. You need to be able to choose from that and then receive what shows up. And based on what shows up, move through a refinement process that brings you more into the gravity, into the energy, into the synchronicity with what you desire. And that's what we do in the Brilliance Mastermind. I teach you how to choose based on your joy. I teach you how to receive receive effectively and openly so we eliminate resistance we eliminate judgment we eliminate fear scarcity and what we do is we learn how to embrace what shows up and then use what shows up to our advantage through the refinement process which is step three what this 
consistently results in is marriage. I've got several clients who've ended up in marriage or long-term healthy relationships for their life to life. And I'm not talking mediocre relationships. These are relationships where people, with the people involved, my clients, are experiencing things they've dreamed of all their lives. They, these are the grand moments for them. They're like, this is what I've been looking for and what I've wanted. And I'm amazed it's here. And they, they didn't go out and date. Not one of them went on a dating site. Not one of them got on Tinder. Not one of them went to a party looking for something. They went about their lives and they collided or synchronized with the person they ended up marrying just out of being available. But it started with a clear choice. And then it started with receiving what showed up and then refining what showed up. Boom. And a lot of these happened within weeks of starting this process for themselves. That's fast results. Same with wealth, guys. I have one client. She wanted to be free of her debt. We, I took her through these three steps, and over 100 k in debt was paid off. She didn't even have to lift a finger. It came to her. That's powerful. Other people, same thing with money. They invested in the, mind, in the mastermind. And one of the first experiments we do is getting your money back. Last year, we did a double your return. And oh, everyone who did the experiment got double their money back within, a, within about a month and a half, six weeks, by using this process of choose, receive, and refine. Same thing with health and with, well, with whatever it is that you really are looking for in your life, whether it's a job, whether it's a business, whether it's vacation, I just had one client two weeks ago. She wanted a vacation fully paid for. I said, well, do these three steps. She did it. Boom. Fully paid for vacation. It's the three-day weekend and at a spa that she'd always wanted to be in. Got pampered on. I mean, boom. There you go. So you can use this for big things. You can use it for small things. But the point is, is that you can have what you really desire when you know how to choose what you want receive it, and then refine the experience in a way that allows you to then choose again, receive what shows up, and refine it until you end up with what you want. And that can happen very, very quickly. So if you're struggling with finding a relationship, that romantic relationship you really want, if you're struggling with a job you would really like to have, you, you're tired of the one you're in, you would like something that would really fulfill you, or you're struggling in business and you'd like to make some changes there, but you want to change in you first, or you'd like to find your purpose in life, you'd like to really redefine your own personal experience, then the Brilliance Mastermind is where you want to be. This is what it's designed to help you accomplish. Now, I'm only accepting 25 people for the Mastermind this year. The Mastermind runs for 12 months, so it's a year-long program. And normally, I, I'm in like, my business coaches are like, hey, you should charge 10, 15, 20,000 dollars for this. I thought about doing that because you could get those results. You could literally get the money back out of it for that. But a lot of us don't have that kind of cash, right? But we do have a desire. We have a dream. And so I was like, what would be more reasonable, more accessible to you guys? And so right now you can get into this for this year for $3,000. And that's, I mean, boom, 12 months of learning how to choose, receive, and refine your experience so you get the love you want, you get your money back when you manifest it back to yourself using this process. So you can literally get in this and learn how to bring in more wealth for you right out of the gate. That's one of the big things I love about this. It's one of my f most favorite experiments is that people end up with more money by going into the program than what they invested in. So it... It is open for enrollment. You've got to apply. Then we'll have a little uh, short consult call to make sure this is the appropriate direction for you for what you're looking for in your life. And if it is, I'll invite you to join. We'll get you signed up. We start December 1st. That's a Sunday. We start at 7 p.m. Uh, Mountain Time. So if you're ready to get that love, to get that wealth, get that job, or get that purpose back in your life, then apply for the Brilliance Mastermind. I'd be excited to have you as part of it. And guys... This is what it's all about. This is why I do what I do, because we are brilliant. We can have the things we desire. We just need to learn how to choose it, receive it, and then refine the experience so that it tunes up and we can have more of what we deserve. So if this appeals to you, if this is what you're looking for, click the apply, um, 
the go to the link above if you're on Facebook and link below on YouTube and click it's the apply to the mastermind it'll take you right to the page it'll give you an overview of what you receive in this because guys not only do you receive this nine week master training and the 12 month experiment trainings in brilliance mastermind but you also get the upcoming brilliantly you igniting your value voice and vision system you also get access to codependence to confidence my master codependency master healing system you also get get closure now and three three sessions with me one-on-one -on -one, where we can heal a trauma we can discuss a, a situation you're dealing with or you know use those three sessions to whatever you want so that's a lot of value right there right there it's just you basically get access to everything that i teach so that you can kick ass in your life so boom there you go so if this applies or appeals to you reach out let me know apply to the brilliance mastermind and we'll kick some butt together Okay, I appreciate you guys. Remember that you're worth knowing, loving, and keeping. Surrender control and learn how to receive. And you'll start witnessing for yourself your own brilliance, your own power and ability to create the love, the wealth, the well-being you want in your life. It's built into you. So if you struggle with that, that's, that's what the Brilliance Mastermind is here to help you solve. So I look forward to seeing your application, guys. Keep kicking butt and you guys have a great day.